Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very awesome song called The Flight of the Bumblebee, okay? So I'll be teaching you the main first section of it, okay? The really imitation of like the bumblebee, so literally a flying, it's like buzzing around. So here we go, give you a preview of what you can learn, it goes like this, check it out. Okay, so let's get right into it. It's really awesome, not difficult to learn after you learn these chromatic patterns and the specific fingering. So here we go. So here we go. Let's break it up into parts. There's about 11 parts to learn here. So here we go. First part goes like this. Right hand starts on the E up here, so pretty high E. Okay, so middle C is here for reference. Go up an octave C, go up another octave to this C, is the E right here. Okay, so what we do for the first part, we descend chromatic from E, and then D sharp, D, C sharp, and then go up half a step to D, and then descend chromatic again, C sharp, C, B, and then C, B, B flat, A, and then G sharp, G, F sharp, F, like that. So yeah, it's like four chromatics if you split it up like that, okay? So yeah, one more time, it goes like this for the right hand, it goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, back up to D, and descend the chromatic for the four notes, and then back up to the C, and then chromatic downwards, and then downwards to G sharp, G, F sharp, F, okay? So yeah, okay, so there's like a pattern going on. Hope you can see the pattern. So that's the right hand there for the first part. Left hand is what we have. We have an E octave here, so middle C here, so just E and E here. Okay, just one E octave, so that's easy left hand, okay? So one more time, just the E octave. Okay, if you can't stretch it, just do one note, okay? Anyway, so here we go, or you can just like jump, you can be like, like that, okay? But that doesn't sound as like good as the original if that happens. But anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and put it together, okay? So it goes, the first note on both hands goes together. So it's just together. Like that. Okay, one more time, it goes together. Just like that. Okay. Anyways, so that's that. Okay, so moving on, the second part is actually really easy because the second part is actually just the exact same thing as the first part, but just played an octave lower. So everything is octave lower. So you just go from this E and the left hand is from this E octave there, and the same thing. So it's like That, can you see? It's actually exactly the same as the first part, but just one octave lower. Remember that because patterns is the way to go to learn stuff a lot quicker. So it just goes like that. Okay, so the first two parts just goes okay, and then moving on to the third part. The third part is just the right hand, so okay, it goes uh, E here, so next to the middle C, it goes E. D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, and repeat those eight notes um, again. And that's it for the third part. So pretty easy, it's eight notes played two times, okay? So it just goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, and repeat those eight notes. Like that, so like that, okay? So back to back, the three parts we've learned here will be played like this, okay? This makes up kind of like the intro section, okay? So we're just gonna repeat and give you a back to back playthrough so you know what it sounds like. Just goes. Like that, okay? So it's pretty simple stuff, okay? So that's it for the, um, I guess the first section, the first three parts, okay? So moving on now to the fourth part, okay? The fourth part is where that main theme comes off and like everyone knows about this theme. So here we go. Right hand goes like this. So pay very um, careful to the fingers that I use as well and the notes, okay? So it goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, F, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Okay, that's the right hand there. 
Okay, the main thing that's a little bit hard in this is because even though they're chromatic, it's not using the exact fingering as the chromatic scales that you normally do in your, like, if you do classical piano or exams, okay? So you just gotta remember the fingering, okay? But it kind of fits in the fingers once you practice a bit more. But anyway, one more time for the this uh, fourth part. Yeah, fourth part, yeah, so it goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, F, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, that's it for the right hand. Okay, left hand is a lot harder here, okay? Okay, pretty big, uh, like, stretches and roll chords, okay? It goes, the uh, first one is a triple note, A, E, C, and you roll it, like that, it's pretty big, it's like a tenth, and then you repeat that triple note again, and then uh, triple note played together is D, F sharp, A, like that. So three, di uh, three triple notes for this uh, fourth part, okay? So one more time, so it goes, the A, E, C triple note, roll it for two times, and then D, F sharp, A triple note. Okay, the two hands together, which just goes like this, so it just goes together, 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 like that, okay? So just like that one more time, so it's together, together, together. Like that, and that is that for this fourth part, okay? Moving on now to the fifth part. Okay, something awesome happens because this fifth part is actually completely the same as the fourth part, so you just repeat it. Like that, completely the same as the fourth part. So we just save some time. Remember, patterns is the way to go. So remember, fourth part, same as the fifth part, okay? So the fifth part, same as the fourth part. Like that. Okay, now, moving on now to the uh, the sixth part, okay? The sixth part right continues, goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, E, D sharp, like that. Just like that, and that's the sixth part, okay? So one more time, it goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, E, D sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have these following uh, four no, uh, four notes, okay? So first of all, we have a triple note, the E, A, C, that big stretch again, the roller. And then now change to double note, F, A, E, A, double note. And then triple note together, D, G sharp, B. Like that. Okay, just gotta remember it, okay? A lot of variations. So one more time, it goes E, uh, no, sorry, A, E, C, that triple note, that big stretch one. And then F, A, double note. And then E, A, double note. And then the triple note, D, G sharp, B, like that. So the two hands together for this six part goes like this. It goes together, 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 together. Like that, okay? So it's pretty much, um, yeah four notes per uh, left hand, okay? Because like the left hand comes in every, f uh, like the four notes, okay? So it's like one, two, like that. Like that. Now, moving on to the seventh part, okay? So the seventh part continues like this. Seventh part, right hand goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, So yeah, at the end of there is actually not a um, chromatic, so that's where you gotta really remember this particular seventh part, okay? Makes it difficult there. One more time, it goes E, D sharp, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, G sharp, that's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have these following um, few notes, okay? So first of all, we have a double note, C, A, F, A, double note, E A double note, D E B dot, uh, triple note, like that. Okay, so yeah, one more time. It goes like this: C A double note, F A double note, E A double note, D E B double a uh, triple note. All right. So with those few left hand notes in mind, the turn together goes like this: it just goes together, 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 like that. One more time. It goes together. Like that, and there you have it for the seventh part. Moving on to the eighth part. The eighth part changes key, okay? Uh, it goes, right hand goes A, G sharp, G, F 
sharp, F, B flat, A, G sharp, A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, G sharp, G, G sharp, like that. That's it for the right hand. One more time, so it goes A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, B flat, A, G sharp, A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have this following um, like many triple notes, okay? First triple note is C sharp, G, A. D, F, A, triple note, and then F, A, D, triple note, and then down to D, G, B. Okay, it's an interesting, um, really distinct chordal sound here. Okay, but anyway, one more time, this goes like this, so C sharp, G, A, triple note, D, F, A, triple note, F, A, D, triple note, and then D, G, B, triple note. Okay, so that's it. Turn together, goes like this, so it goes together, together. That's it for this eighth part. One more time, so it's together, 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 together. Like that for the eighth part. Okay, moving on to the ninth part. Okay, ninth part continues, goes A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, up to B flat, A, G sharp, A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp like that, okay? But it's the same right hand as the 8th part, but the left hand changes up, okay? So you don't know it because this um, ninth part, same right hand as the 8th part. The left hand, different, okay? This is what we have. We've got a triple note, F, A, D. And repeat that triple note again for the second time, and then down to the triple note, D, G, B. So three triple notes here, okay? okay one more time, so it goes F, A, D, triple note twice, and then the D, G, B, triple note. Okay, so it turns together for this uh, ninth part, goes like this, just goes together, 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 like that, and that's it for the ninth part. One more time, just goes together, 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 like that. Okay, so moving on to the tenth part, okay, the tenth part continues, goes A, G sharp, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, G sharp like that. Okay, one more time. It goes A G sharp G F sharp G F sharp F E F F sharp G G sharp A B flat A G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand we have these following triple notes. Okay, we have F A D triple note, and then G B flat D triple note, and then back to the F A D triple note, and then we have E G C sharp triple note. Okay. So kind of new triple notes here. Okay, one more time, it goes F, A, D, triple note, G, B, flat, D, triple note, back to the F, A, D, triple note, and then the E, G, C, sharp, triple note. Two hands together, goes like this, just goes together, and then, oh, sorry, it's the wrong fingering, so together, and then together, 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 like that. And that's it, one more time, it goes together, That's it, moving on to the 11th and last part of this section and today's lesson continues like this, right hand goes A, G sharp, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, A, G sharp, like that, okay? So essentially the right hand here is the same uh, uh, as the pre previous part, the 10th part, plus an extra A at the end, okay? I'm just seeing the pattern for you. So remember, this 11th part is the same right hand note, uh, but we have extra A at the end. So remember, it, okay? So it's easier to remember and all the fingering and stuff. Just like the same as the 10th part, this 11th part plus the extra A at the end goes extra A, and that's it for the right hand. Left hand is what we have, okay? Go to triple note D, F, A, and triple note D, G, B flat, triple note D, F, A, Triple note C sharp G A, and then double note D F. All right. So one more time. It goes D F A triple note, D G B flat triple note, D F A triple note again, and then the C sharp G A triple note, and then double note D F. All right. So five uh, particular bunch of notes here for the left hand. Okay. Here we go. Two hands together goes like this. So it's together, together. like that, okay, so just together, 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 
All right, and that's pretty much it, okay? So, hope you enjoyed today's lesson. So make sure the main thing is, okay, the chromatics, okay, the, the right hand you gotta practice a lot, make it very smooth. There's no point going very fast and then it's like, da, 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 like uneven, okay? Make sure it's like, always, even when it slows, da, 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 Yeah, so none of like fast, so fast, none of like, uh, none of that, okay? So make sure practice from slow, even, and then build your way up to a faster speed, okay? That's just how the way to go, okay? You just gotta learn the patterns, memorize it, and then start practicing those patterns from a slow speed to a faster speed, okay? There's no, no shortcut to getting this instantly without learning those patterns and learning those fingerings, okay? But anyways... That's pretty much it, so hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can find your favorite songs to learn on my channel. Anyways, I've got a classical piano playlist, piano tutorial playlist as well, so check it out as well. So you can learn some of your favorite classical songs here on my channel as well. Anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff, okay? So enjoy your time around my channel as of now, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.